Hey, what's up? Today's the 14th of January, 2024. We're going to talk about Robinhood today and show you that now they have allowed their investors, traders on their platform access to a Bitcoin ETF trading for its 23 million users right here from Crypto Briefing. Robinhood said its new offerings will give customers greater flexibility to invest in Bitcoin. The move is, is part of its ongoing efforts to provide investors with more investment options and facilitate access to financial markets. Don't forget that this is the same business that has taken away the buy button. Investors can buy or sell spot Bitcoin ETF like traditional ETF for stocks while still retaining the option to purchase Bitcoin directly through Robinhood Crypto. Robinhood also guarantees, don't forget, this is the business that has taken away the buy button. That is crypto app offers the lowest average cost for crypto trading. Now, here is another article from Crypto Briefing. SEC approves 11 Bitcoin spot ETF to begin trading after a 10, 11 year wait. In 2013, yeah, the Winklevoss twins, they were the first one to try to file for a spot Bitcoin ETF with the SEC. Here it is today. Finally got it. Earlier today, CBOE Global Market said six spot Bitcoin exchange traded funds will be listed and start trading on the stock exchanges on Thursday. CBOE website listed six Bitcoin ETF applicants approved to start trading tomorrow, ARC21. Here's their ticket symbol, Fidelity. Here is their ticker symbol. Franklin Tippleton. Here is their ticker symbol. Invesco. Here is their ticker symbol. Vanek. They got HODL. That's their ticker symbol. Wisdom Tree. Theirs. 40 ETF issuers submitted applications to launch spot Bitcoin ETF in recent months, including major financial institutions like BlackRock, Fidelity, Invesco, and Galaxy. Arc and 21 shares, Van Eck, Wisdom Tree, Valkyrie, Hasdex, Franklin Templeton, Bitwise, 7RCC, Grayscale, Global X, and Pendo. A spot Bitcoin ETF involves actual Bitcoin. They're going to tokenize. These ETFs will tokenize Bitcoin. They take real Bitcoin, removing supply from the market, which will thereby increase the asset's value. You take supply out, you increase demand for that supply, for that asset. While a Bitcoin futures ETF tracks the price of Bitcoin through futures contracts. So, how many of these ETFs you think will be around in the next three to five years? Because all 11, 14, however many of them have been approved, everyone's not going to put money into all of them. It kind of shows you how much the financial market wants to get into the cryptocurrency space. Look at this. 11 have been approved and then you got like 14 more submitted applications. Everyone wants a piece of Bitcoin. So if you were one of the early ones in Bitcoin, <laughs> you beat these people to the market. But now they're here. So get ready to see some mm, manipulation. Like, they want to get their hands on Bitcoin. They now have created a lane to get their hands on Bitcoin. Let's see what they'll be able to do with this market now. Like I said, Robinhood is now also involved in spot Bitcoin ETFs. Don't forget, Robinhood is the one that has taken away the buy button. So let's let it be. Don't ever underestimate your opponent. Here's a chart for Robin Hood. Yes, I know. I know it didn't go right. I was looking for Robin Hood to go higher and it didn't. And the price still didn't hold my buy zones. So you know what that means, right? Yeah, it means that I'm looking for Robin Hood to now go down. See, I'm not a pessimist. I'm not an optimist like that. I'm a realist when it comes to.
price charts. And if the chart is not showing me what I expected it to do, there's no need for me to be emotional. Where I expected to see the buyers, they didn't show up. And if they're not there, then best believe that I'm not going to show up. So I'm going to leave right along with them, take this loss and get right back into position and get prepared to win again. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and get rid of this price prediction here in Robinhood. 9.85% loss right there on, on Friday, January the 12th. The buyers did not show up at this lower end buy zone. I wanted to see that. I wanted to see them. That was my last area to see price in Robinhood hold, and they didn't even do it. They cratered here at this buy zone. They definitely didn't show up up there. They didn't show in my second buy zone, get rid of that. And then they didn't show up my third one. And I say that because on Friday's trading, we got that indicator of weakness completely cratered through that zone. Pay attention. It's saying something to us. So let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of this. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a sell zone right here in Robinhood. So we are stair stepping our way down in price in Robinhood. My next area to focus in on buying will be right here in this zone. And if not there, we're going to take a look around here and definitely right around there. Those would be those three areas right now that I'm looking at. I'm already ahead of my competition. I'm trying to see where we can possibly see this market find the buyers. Here it is on the weekly chart for Robinhood. Do I need to say anything to you? Like, look at that weekly bar. You see the weakness already there. It's triggered. So we got a, a pretty big ways to go down off of a longer term chart. And then we may see actually come down to like 10 bucks. Look at Robinhood in the two weeks. <sighs> Again, it just doesn't look bullish right now. I don't know what to tell you. It's not bullish. Weavy chart looks weak. Look at the two weeks. Still looks weak there. Three weeks. Here it is on the five. Robinhood on the monthly chart. So let's figure out where the market buyers could be in Robinhood. That first area I told you would be right around here. Let me break that down to smaller piece. Okay, so my first area would be right around here. My first target now. This is where I want to see buyers, just like I did the last time. I want to see the market hold price here, just like they did right there on that 30 minute. You see how the buyers came into the market? The price went up since then. That is what I want to see. If they don't hold it there, then my next area would be right around here. Okay. Second target. See? How easy this is this is my third area god forbid it goes this low but it's here right there okay so we got those targets there let's go ahead and put this on the daily chart to see what it looks like on the daily and now we're going to drop our price prediction for robin hood Anywhere within this first buy zone would be our first take profit, 2.72% there. Second target, anywhere within the second buy zone, 12.98% there. Third target, it's all the way down here. So I can actually fix this one. Let's make that one bigger. 
position like right around here okay this would be our third target 21.05 percent and as long as price and Robinhood trades below this sell zone we would expect that there's a higher chance for price to go lower let's just see how low it's going to go simple and easy right done give me your thoughts makes you maintain a profitability and as always trade different